really easy bait fish. Tying on a Sakuma Manta Extra 6.0, really good sharp hook. Okay, orange Deer Creek Glisten Glint Plus, and some white Glisten Glint Plus, and that's it. Okay, first layer bed, thread down. I'm using clear mono. Now right back up. Okay. What I do now is I put down a bit of varnish. I use um, a cocktail stick. Just easy. Throw away. Cheap as chips. And you get thousands of them for like a pound. I got three packets of them for a pound. I don't think I'll ever buy them again because I'll never run out. There's about 50 million other things. Okay, so what we need to do is first we need to lay down a tail and body. So I grab a section that I want to use, kind of about that, and I light on there to get the overall length. That'll do fine. And what I do now is just give that a chop. place on just gently push it around the hook so you're covering the hook shank completely and bring your thread right down to there okay and bring your thread back up to this point right there okay again I'll put another a layer of varnish down just move that out of the way Another layer of varnish down, secures it against teeth, gives the next lot of fibres something to stick to. You can use glue or if you want to, it's, I just prefer varnish. Okay. I'll turn that upside down. Okay, get some more of this, this white stuff. Again, thin piece. Okay. measure it up against there you need that to be slightly shorter give you that step appearance and the fly lay that on okay. tease it back each side of the hook okay and turn it over bring it down to there okay next you want another piece on the top again quite thin measure it up you want that step appearance bring your thread back up tie it in Just bring it all the way down Again, some more varnish on that. Really solids it up. There we go. Okay. Now we've done that. What we're going to do? I'm going to do a wee bit of a hollow tie here. So, what I'm going to do is pick out a piece like that because what I'm trying to do here is build up a bit of a bigger body shape okay so those two pieces there I'm just gonna just gonna split them and tie one in on that side just there leaving about that much at the front okay secure that in and the same at the other side this will bulk up the body. Okay. And I'll have a shorter piece for underneath. Okay. 
like so. It's basically a deception as the fly when it's finished will look a lot bigger than it actually is. Holotine is a great method. Okay, on that long piece. I love this Gloss and Glint Plus as well, it's just got that lovely sparkle through it. Of course you don't need to tie sparkle in, it's already in there which is great. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is just add have a touch of varnish on there. Okay, and I'm just going to hollow tie that back. This is um, uh, an actual fine marker pen with the inside missing. The reason I like this is because a lot of these hooks that I use have got a really big eye, the C hooks, and this goes over, as you can see, really nice. And you can just push that back. So, tease it all back and hold there. Okay, you see, you're getting a nice body shape there. Okay, again, we varnish or you can glue. I like to do this at most steps, it just secures the fly, keeps it all together. gives each stage something else to grip on okay so now what I'm going to do is take the orange okay so you can see that it's all different lengths that actually works to your advantage because it looks a lot better than having too uniform a shape on there okay so I've just cut that off and again we're going to hollow tie this so what I'm going to do with this so you see that now what I'm doing is turning that over because the short piece there when you turn that over hollow tie it will be on top and at the front you need the long piece at the back okay so we put that on there and we tie that in like so and you tie that fairly close to the eye can you see that not a lot of room in there okay so take another couple of pieces For the sides, the sides will be slightly shorter. See, so what I'm going to do is just kind of split that. Okay. You could, of course, keep all of those the same length, and it'll give you a nice hot head tight fly when it's all folded back. But that's not what I'm doing here. Okay, and this on the other side. and short piece on the bottom okay and again I'm just gonna add some varnish in there so I like to do this every step um, when you're fishing for pike and other predators with teeth, obviously they can do some damage to your fly. Your fly's not going to last a lifetime anyway, but by doing this it lasts a hell of a lot longer. Ken over in the States has got one of my flies that I made in last May, and it's a year later, and he's caught over 50 pike on that bass and stuff, and it's still going strong just by doing that. If you hadn't have done that, it probably would have come apart eventually, but that does certainly protect against teeth. Okay, so point again hollow tight okay put a few wraps around there and you can see it's formed a rather nice nose what you can do here if if you think to yourself there's not enough like you can always tie an extra piece in, you know. For example, you know, if you want some more on the side, uh, I'll do a bit. 
or if you think you've missed you missed a bit out or whatever what you can do just say it's there and you want some more in there because it's not the same as the other side just tie that one piece in like that couple of wraps bring it back with your fingers hold it down a few wraps and there you go so what we do just finish that off you can see it's got a bit of a bulky nose there okay but we'll take care of that in the next step just tighten that down just broke off perfect okay what I like to do here is just add a lighter just to that and as I just slightly heat this and it takes off all those loose little bits at the front see that heat is just traveling down inside that hook shank there just a little bit underneath that fiber so when you're heating that you do that and then push it down the actual fiber there will stick to the hook giving you a a really good strong bond to the hook that's not moving look okay okay what we're going to do now is attach the eyes this is um i was banging on about this uh on my blog yesterday, uh, Evo Stick Serious Glue, really nice stuff. Just go over and check my blog out, and you can see the write up on it. Okay, so what we we'll do, just take some out on the end of a cocktail stick, like so, and simply take your eye and then cocktail stick, just put it in the middle there. like so and then you just put that on and when you push that down it spreads the glue to the sides of the eye easy as that that glue remains pliable for probably five or ten minutes depends how much you put on and you can reposition those eyes as you like so just get this one done You see, glue's just in the middle, and just place that on. And so you couldn't have done that with super glue. What I just did there, just realised that the eye was facing the wrong way. If you'd done that with super glue, it would be on there, and that would be that. So and that is nearly it. All you need to do is you need a little bit of varnish on the nose there like so 